Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. Today's shaving soap scent is one that I think uh, works very well during this Christmas season. It's from Mammoth Soap Company. This one is called Embrace. And we'll talk about what the scent actually is during the shave. This soap is a duck fat and beef tallow soap base. It goes for about $5 for a sample like this, which is fairly steep, if I'm being honest. But it is a white label uh, soap, which means Mammoth Soap Company does not actually make the soap. Uh, Chicago Grooming makes the soap. And so there's a, there's a middle person involved that kind of drives the price up on all the products uh, just a bit. So do keep that in mind when making a decision whether or not to order their products, but the scent is interesting. We'll talk about it. Now, I thought about using my uh, my Aramis aftershave balm just because I'm trying to use it up, but I was rummaging through my samples and somehow I acquired a 5 milliliter aftershave of Sterling Texas on Fire. I have no idea how I got this, but apparently I have it. And uh, this definitely smells like Tex ass going up in flames. Let's put it that way. Uh, we'll talk about what the scent of this actually is when we use it, because I'm curious what the notes are of that. Anyway, <clears throat> for the razor, it's going to be another shave with the Schick Type M adjustable injector razor. You're going to be seeing razors like this a lot because I have a lot of uh, of injector blades that I'm trying to burn through and so I'm just going to burn through them and and I'm going to use this and a couple other injector razors uh, just to get through it. It's using a Ted Pella blade. This is a third shave for this particular blade. Uh, I used it off camera once, so yeah, we're on shave number three for this blade. And the brush is going to be from Viking Shave. I haven't used this in a while. This is my 22mm uh, uh, black on amber with a uh, Odin's Beard Badger 22mm. It's a wonderful knot. I kind of wish they were still making brushes, but sadly it does not look like they are. Okay, let's do a shave. All right, got the standard 36 hours growth on the face today. And let's do the smell of the Mammoth Soap Company Embrace. This one is uh, fairly strong. It's a four out of five on the sniffo meter. All right, let's put it on the face. I. I was expecting to get a little bit more volume out of this, but it could also be that a lot of it is hiding inside the brush. Well, this is a small knot, it's still fairly dense. So. Hope everybody's doing great out there, having great shaves, with great shaving tools, and great shaving soap. The Black Friday we had, the Black Friday sales we had this year were nuts. I uh, I had to get on get in on some of that because it was too good to pass up. <clears throat> All right, Schick Type M adjustable razor. It's on setting three with a third use Ted Pella blade. Let's see how it's doing. Should be perfectly fine.
Yep, so far so good. Oh, still super smooth. I mean, it's only three shaves. I would expect to get uh, at least seven or eight really good shaves out of an injector blades. Hopefully even more than that. All right, let's talk about the scent of this. So it's described as a warm and rich scent. It's got pink pepper, cardamom, coffee, berry, Gaiac wood, labdanum, patchouli, and it says a range of musks. So, what does that actually mean? Well, the notes that stand out to me the most is pink pepper, coffee, and dark fruit. Those are the, the notes that I'm getting that are by far stealing the show. It is... Uh, pink pepper heavy, interestingly enough. I do get a little bit of cardamom. Cardamom will kind of remind you of Coca-Cola a little bit. So it's got some of those kind of vibes going on. A little bit of coffee, and then uh, the it's got a very pronounced berry note, which uh, should not be surprising. Anytime you put dark fruit into a shaving soap scent, um, it's going to be louder than a lot of other things. It's kind of like... Uh, What's another example? Uh, putting coffee notes in something. Like if you got one that's like uh, like coffee and bourbon, uh, the coffee is pretty much just going to take over the place. But the coffee in this, uh, because it's uh, competing with another very strong note that uh, those the the berry note. Uh, the coffee shakes out to be actually kind of fairly restrained. It does have a dark, woody, resinous kind of facet to it. That would be uh, the Gaiac wood. Uh, to me, Gaiac wood and Oud are kind of spiritual cousins. They smell vaguely similar. So, that's kind of what I'm getting out of that. And then, <clears throat> patchouli, yeah, I can see that. There's some kind of herbaceous floral notes that one could interpret to be patchouli. And I think the rest is just filler, like labdanum and musk. I think uh, all those are just, uh, a lot of times those notes are put in there to restrain other notes. And I think in this case, uh, that's very much what's going on. It's just adding depth and character to the scent. Uh, it's not necessarily trying to get you to really smell those notes. Because if it were musk heavy, it would smell very different. I did an off camera shave with this thing and I was in a hurry. Plus I had less than 24 hours growth. Every once in a while I have a situation where I have to be clean shaven because I'm military. But I will have to be clean shaven from a standpoint of having not already had at least 24 hours of growth. And whenever I try to shave my face with less than 24 hours of growth, no matter what I shave with, it's a, it's a shred fest. Because there's too little growth uh, to justify a shave. And I'm not sure what the science is behind it, but whenever that happens, it, it never goes well for me. It probably has to do with me applying too much pressure to try to shave off hairs that are already very, very short. Is what I'm guessing. 
And I had some some bumps and cuts from that, which I think is what we're experiencing right now. Like there's a nick, there's a nick. I think uh, that's just me slicing open spots where I cut myself yesterday. So. Oh well, it happens. It's not particularly close today. The neck is really like not wanting to go quietly. Okay. Hopefully that did it. That's better. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, see about this Texas on fire. I have to uh, turn my airplane mode off because if I receive a text message while I'm recording, it'll, I'll get uh, interference. Uh, like it'll interfere with the speaker on the, on the camera. Let's try Sterling Texas on fire. What is in this? Uh, birch tar, cade, labdanum, vanilla, and Texas cedar wood. I think it's uh, birch tar and cade that's pretty much uh, overwhelming the entire scent, for whatever that's worth. But whatever, let's put it on. It's not remarkably close to, not remotely close to the same scent as the soap, but... Whatever, it's winter time and this is a really good winter scent by the smell of it. So, let's use it. One winter scent is as good as another. Oh yeah. I'm gonna smell like a... Uh, smell like a burning house <laughs> for, uh, for the rest of the day with all that asbestos going up in flames. Oh, that, that is potent, holy crap. I can understand why, the, I think Texas on fire would be a polarizing scent. That's goofy, that's a weird scent, okay. Uh, my final thoughts on Mammoth Soap Company Embrace. Could I recommend this for a purchase? Uh, unfortunately for this one, no I cannot. And the simple reason is it's it's fairly forgettable. It, I just don't find it that interesting. Uh, it it has like dark fruit in it, which is a rarity among shaving soap scents. But that I was I was hoping that would kind of save it, but it really doesn't. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. I don't, I don't know what else I can say about it. It just doesn't strike me as that interesting of a scent. I. Uh, I will say, however, that if you like all these notes, like if you like dark fruit, if you like uh, Zingari Man the Rambler, then you would really like this. And in that case, I would say go ahead and pick it up. Because it's kind of in the same realm as uh, Zingari Man the Rambler. Okay, that's my final thoughts on... Uh, Mama Soap Company Embrace. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, I smell like burning trees. And shave like you mean it. I'll see you next time.